Good morning! My name is Priscilla. During my gap year, I spend around 7 hours a day in front of this good thick desk. I watch videos, I study for tests, listen to podcasts, read books, and take notes. How do I organize this much of information? Well, it's me and the free shampoo from the hotel mentality. So today, we're on to a quest of finding a free app. A few weeks ago, I discovered this new app called Logseg. Pram learned to know how to use Logseg. Then I used Logseg to organize my entire life for a week. And using Second Brain's founder, Tiago Forte's 15 criteria to see if this note-taking app is suitable and compound for a long love relationship. And let this social experiment begin for a week. What are some free alternatives to apps like Chrome Research, Obsidian, and Remnant? All three of those have paid versions. In case you're wondering how does those three apps price themselves, here is a chart. And then I've been coming around this rising star on the edge called Logsec. What's so cool about this app? It is self-hosted, open source, privacy first, according to how it is branded on the website. Apparently, I'm not a geek in computer science or nor I major in this field, so I have no idea what does self-hosted, open source mean. Let's Google those terms right now. Oh, okay. So self-hosted, it means that running and owned by yourself. And then open source means that the code is accessible to the public. So straight off the bat from my intuition, a pro of open source is that I can scale and modify any function of the app to the needs of mine. But the cons are also quite obvious is that data security can be a issue. It should be pretty easy for me to learn all those apps from studying the note-taking philosophies. No shit. Flashback and time to get this started. Bye. So I'm gonna spend today trying to learn the logics of Logsite and watch tons of videos and blog posts on how this app works. Good morning! <laughs> today is Monday. <clears throat> uh, my classes don't start until Monday night because time zone. No shit. So this is the rest of my Monday dabbling with this app. And so I'm gonna show you a bit of my how to learn apps 101 tutorial. This is like meta skill. This is a skill on how you can learn other skills faster. Now I'm gonna gather a few resources about this app and then see where I can go from that. You gotta activate that inquiry based learning and trigger that curiosity by asking questions. It's to build your own mental model and understanding slash interpretation of the big picture. So first, I'm going to download the app and then start drawing a mind map of how it works. So here is the basic framework that I have drawn and then I'll show it to you. Of my understanding, so from the blogs that I've read that looks like it's like wrong research, where your daily notes page is right on the spot when you open the app. Everything starts with the daily note in looks like I can journal, write to-do list, and use this as a work log. Oh, and gosh, there's also a flashcard function. Oh my gosh, and this log seg task thing is so cool. Have them waiting for later done and to do. And this is more comprehensive than remote wrong research. We need to query things to filter out, like the last seven days to future seven days of task and you can oh and uh log seg's EDF annotation is very 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 similar to remote. Until now, I really think that log seg is like a aesthetic baby of obsidian. RevNote and Rome Research. And then here is also a workflow that I have just updated of how I am going to manage my task and notes. Yeah, this is what I've done with the workflows. To get the app prepped, I'll also import my data. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on time. I got up too late, like around 10. You know, I'm supposed to wake up early. You know how it be sometimes? Is that even still a meme? I have no idea. This is how I've started the day. I'll put a screen recording here of what I'm doing in Logseg currently. Yeah, I've written the tasks that I, I need to do today 
on strategic communication class and later in the afternoon i'm going to have my dentist checkup and i'll use this backwards planning to imagine what is the outcome that i want from finishing this assignment like the assignment is a little bit weird and it is branding and writing signature stories for a local company that i have chosen i will prep the page prep the page means that I will gather all the resources that I need for this assignment. Like, so I don't need to waste my time to go research and retrieve resources and don't know where the things are. Here I will write down the characteristics of the company and what are the th things that the company want the audience and potential customers to know, what are their brand values and things. Here I use Zotero to connect to Logseg and use the PDF annotation function for the course readings. And I can copy and paste the highlight into my notes. With the red pen, I can reference back to the PDF. Here is the outline that I've came up with. Several bad puns later. Now is around 2 p.m. I finished this assignment for like four hours, I would say. So I'll record the time here. And on a related note, I need to rush and leave the house. Hey, time to go check my teeth for retainer. Hey, yeah, uh, didn't see you there. You know, when I am in maximum concentration mode, I have my hair clipped back like this. Today, I am going to study accounting for like probably five, six hours. And yeah, today I'm gonna use the studying technique of the generation effect and brain dump. So generation effect pretty much just means that knowledge is remember more when the explanation is produced by B. So first, I'm going to create a list of learning objectives that will be copy and pasted into Logsec as my outcome goal for studying. So first, I've identified the knowledges that are unclear with the brain dump. I sometimes do this mind map brain dump or a linear brain dump. A linear brain dump will be easier than a mind map brain dump because mind map shows more relationship while when I write linear notes brain dump, it will be really lengthy and here are some of my linear dump and mind map brain dump. After going down the list and writing things, I will try to teach the concept to an imaginary student. And even be more specific on identifying what my knowledge gaps are. And then after dinner, I will be writing my practice exam. Doing practice exams, I also have a technique to look in most of those tests. It is to create my own studying answer sheet. When I finish the test, I will know what the confidence of me knowing this answer to be correct or not. Then I'll write an answer sheet for the questions I am not sure of by going back to the textbook. I'll write the concept I think the question is testing and then write the calculation again based on an example problem that is in the textbook. And then I'll check my answer sheet and my answers from the practice exam with the official answer sheet. And lastly, I'll enter all the arbitrary details in flashcards by pressing hashtag cards. And then they will appear in the pile in Foxx's database. And then, yeah, that will be my studying day. You can see I'm very, very tired already. Here's me cramming for another 2 hours in the morning and getting ready for the test. Hey, editing Priscilla here. I was a complete potato and very sleep deprived after I finished my accounting exam. So I just wasted my time and didn't do anything. So tomorrow we are finally leaving the house to be an actual human being, to leave the house and live a life. As a nerd, I listen to neuroscience podcasts even at the art gallery. So here, I will also take notes of it. In this cool app called Snippet, I will snip the quotes out of the podcast and take notes of it. I can then sync it to Readwise or directly copy and paste it into Logsec. And magically, this app knows how to format 
the text in Logsec. The metadata and podcast information are automatically inserted. This is so cool. You can click on your podcast link, and all the show notes and the quotes will be here. And let's enjoy Shanghai's view with a pretty dinner. And yeah, sorry for the shots of my cringy eating face. I understand that this video is pretty fast-paced to ease the suffering and confusion that I had at the beginning. I'll link all the resources that I used to learn Logseg to make this video. That is video inception and too much tongue twister. Back to present one whole week later to see how good this app is. So from using this Logseg app for around、uh, five days, I actually kind of like it, except for a few things. So comparing to Tiago Forte's criteria from my research and experience on this app, this is how those fifteen criteria turn out. The first one is quick capture. Ah,、uh, this one is kind of a half yes and half no. Its phone app is currently in、um, beta mode in the lab rat testing. Phase. I can sign up to their、uh, Google Forms and say, "Me, me, me! I want to be a lab rat for your new app that is under testing." The second one is scale without lagging. This one is a definite yes. Your notes are locally stored on your computer, so it does not have any scaling issues. Like when you click on the app, it has to load a little bit. And then the third criteria is basic formatting. This one is a yes. By pressing the slash key, I can change the、uh, heading size, add highlights or bold text. This one is quite versatile. And then the fourth one is search. This one is a yes. Like this query search is so powerful that you can add tags, find to do lists. So I would give it a big, big, big thumbs up for the queries and search function. However, a downside with searching notes with queries is that as a beginner, it can be very hard to understand the and or boolean logics, but very powerful once you know how to use it. And then the fifth one is ability of handling attachments and multimedia things. The answer is. Yes, for this one, like embed videos, even Twitter posts, PDF files, integration and connection to Zotero. Sixth one is private and public sharing of notes. This one is a little bit, bit of a no because Noxic is local and privacy first. But on their roadmap in Trello of their official site, they say that they will be adding collaboration features in the future. And then the seventh criteria is three levels of hierarchy. This one is definitely a super yes, yes because. You can create any organization structure. Your organization structure is really similar to Reynolds, Obsidian, or Rome Research. You can just one thing here that you got to stick in your mind. Build out a tagging system before you start using an app. Otherwise, you have a hard time finding your very very old notes. The eighth method is many methods of capturing. Yes, because Readwise can be integrated with Logseg using Obsidian's plugin, and then Zotero integration is built in the app. The ninth criteria is this app having a native app and a web version app. This is no because this app only has a local version since it is a org file. And Markdown Editor. Our next criteria: This app has sync features across multiple devices. When we screen hop around, this criteria is apparently a no-no because this app can only be synced with third-party services such as iCloud, Dropbox, or Google Drive, which is very slow. So that is a little bit boo boo. Eleven is export as plain text. So. This is a Markdown or file editor, so everything is just stored on your computer. If you're not happy with this app and you want to like break up with it, you can have a clean and less costly breakup because you can move all your files out of this app to another new app. And of course, there are sidebars and metadata. Those two criteria I completely forgot about when I was recording with Markdown files. And then fourteen is automatic timestamp. Um, this one is not automatic because, like in Rome Research, if you hover your mouse over the bullet point, you can actually see the the date and time when you last edited this bullet point. Yeah. And in Logsec, I try to hover my mouse over the bullet point. It does not have that function, so I have to manually enter the time and the date with the slash key. And then the last criteria is tags. Of course, this one is a definite yes because you can build your own tag system in this thing. So, welcome to the toilet again. You can see my bare naked face after. So, final answers for who who should use Logsec. If you're a researcher. Definitely yes. It has PDF upload and Zotero integration functions and space repetition. 
and if you're not as familiar with computer science and like coding stuff, Logseg will be the easiest for you to start because this, this app is not as complicated as Obsidian to learn. People who learn Obsidian will generally have a computer science background and it's easier for them. But like, and if you're an avid student who wants to compound your knowledge and bring what you have learned from school outside to graduation and to work in life, Logseg will be a good place where you can start compounding your knowledge. So, and lastly, thank you so much for spending your precious time with me and watching me using this app. I hope you learned something too. If you're keen to improving your study efficiency and techniques to save more time on things that are better than studying, check out this video on how to study efficiently without using a flashcard. Bye bye, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.